Hello, everyone. It's Charlton. So, um, an update on the Hawaii Kilauea volcano situation, which continues. It continues to develop, you know, and the whole sort of, uh, as I've been observing it, is, you know, it keeps going back and forth. You think it's over, and then something else happens. And, uh, I mean, things are fairly stable now, and everyone's just waiting to see what the next thing is going to be. But, uh, people, I think, had returned to their homes, and there had been 24 hours of calm, and then two fissures opened up again, I think, while people were in their homes retrieving some stuff. They were allowed to go back to their homes temporarily to get any you know, last, last items that they need or whatever and uh, just scrape together some stuff and get out of there. And then if some fissures opened up in, the, in, that, in that time as well. So and there's some footage of that. There's some footage of the actual volcano I think I'll show you that very first, which is right here, which is amazing. And uh, actually, that's the um, that's the picture of it. Man, I should have been more ready. So I don't understand fully. I mean, the the, the name of the volcano, Kilauea. I think everybody knows that. I'm not a volcanologist. I don't know very much about this stuff, but I'm learning. So. As I understand it, the lake, lava lake that's formed in the apex of it has a different name altogether too. Halima Uma U Lava Lake. Uh, and this is video from this evening. This is May 7th. So it's the day before yesterday, you know, not long ago. Um, the, the video is unbelievable. And it shows, it says the agitated lake surface caused by intermittent rocks falling into it from the sides, you know. And that just stirs things up. And uh, so... Um, and it says uh, the falling rocks are common since the lava lake level has dropped quickly and exposed the walls. Yesterday, the lake level was about 220 meters below the crater floor, and it continues to drop. Now, I don't, again, I don't understand these things, but is that because lava is seeping through the ground, you know, underneath these fissures and coming, you know, coming out there, and that's dropping the lava lake level? That would be my you know, that would be my logical deduction. So here's the video. It's really cool. I mean, it's just amazing. So, and I mean, are we ever going to, I mean, could this possibly the volcano, the apex of it just erupt? I mean, that's, that's the question. I think, I don't know. It's just so incredible. And is this some dude's head right there? Like, uh, I mean, I guess it's not from helicopter footage. It's, is that some dude? It looks like somebody's hat. Anyhow, just curious. So, and here is video. Heli this is helicopter footage of the 13th fissure. And they're saying right after it opened up, I mean, or shortly after it opened up. And this is from yesterday. So the two new fissures that opened up are 13 and 14, here and here, and between 3 and 4 and 5 and 6. And this is kind of the whole map of it. This is Lalani uh, Estates, and this is Lalani Avenue, though I keep – some people call it Lalani Street, whatever. And uh, here's an actual satellite image of it. With This is the massive um, lava, and I don't know if that came from 2 or 7 or 8, but uh, – 14 and 13, I think, are here and here, okay? So, uh, and this is 13, I believe, we're looking at in this video. And it's it says, uh, shortly after it opened up, so it quickly went to spatter, and then and then lava coming out of it, you know? And uh, I have a big clip of somebody who describes exactly how those form, the fissures form, formate, and, you know, what you normally would expect to happen in a resident who describes it. It's pretty unreal. And you get an idea of what, what it's like, you know, for the residents as these things are opening up. And we're watching this on camera. If you were within feet of these things, you'd be freaking out. And because you could get killed totally. I mean, it's so nuts. So um, here's this.
And again, that was uh, fissure 13. So that would have been uh, this right here. All right. And um, so if I could give you uh, what the um, U.S. Geological Survey website, their latest update, which is from yesterday, May 8th, but at 11, you know, 18 p.m., they're six hours behind us. That's like four in the morning here on the East Coast of Philadelphia. So it's not that long ago, you know, seven hours ago. And it basically talks about 13 and 14, those fissures opening up. And um, so the intermittent eruption of lava in the Lani Estates in the lower east rift zone of Kilauea Volcano continues. Activity today was focused on the northeast portion of the fissure, which is up, you know, is, uh, you know, this is the northeast portion up here, I think, right? And um, northeast portion of the fissure area, two new fissures segments, 13 and 14, broke ground between 7 and 6. Fissure 13 to cut across, etc. So, and here is um, here's just a media report telling, uh, showing a, a resident who had gone back to their home to grab some things and describing a crack opening up, and then somebody else who's a little bit of an expert or something that tells you how these things normally develop. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing, man. It is. That resident had to say. As we were packing, all of a sudden, we heard, I, when I went out, the cracks went from 2 inches to 12 inches wide and 8 feet deep, and you could hear the rumbling, and that was on either side of my house, and you guys were between my house and the flow, so it was a very close call. Anytime a fissure opens up, I mean, the, the progression is that there's cracks, then steam will come out, then a lot of steam, and then uh, if lava comes out, it initially usually comes out a spatter, and then depending on the activity, it may, enough lava may come out to form a lava flow. Now, Susie Osborne, who you saw earlier, is the head of Kua Okala Charter School. Which you is know, I mean, she's getting out of Dodge for sure. It's just unreal. Some cool rules ourselves. Pronto. We'll just be bogus, too. All right, let me uh, just read this Hawaii News Now article that usually provides the best uh, update on what's going on. Very quickly, two new eruptions spewed lava for several hours in, in the Big Island's Lalania State subdivision on Tuesday afternoon, finally dying down by nightfall, but not before claiming at least one home. The fissures came after a 24-hour period of relative calm sent people fleeing from the area and prompted a significant government response as first responders sought to ensure that those in potential areas of danger got out, although... The two new vents have stopped pumping lava, officials warn. They continue to release hazardous gases. Residents say massive lava fountains were shooting from at least one of the fissures. I believe that was 13, the one we saw in the helicopter thing. The, two, the new volcanic activity brings to 14 the number of fissures that have opened up since Thursday in the subdivision where lava has destroyed 36 structures, including 27 homes, and covered 104 acres of land. You know, when these things open up and they allow people to go back to their homes just temporarily to get the last few items, what can happen, though, is you can get trapped, you know, I think. I mean, it's pretty freaky, man. And that's what they say here. After 24 hours of pause, these two, these two vents open up. Uh, they've impacted residents, cut off some of the points that residents were using, as we've been saying. This eruption is not over. At least, well, that was my, you know, that's what I'd be worried about. And uh, I'd say that's the end of this video, and uh, I'll continue to follow it. It's not over. We'll see. I mean, it keeps thinking, you know, they, you keep, it keeps tricking you, thinking we're at the end. It's time to go and clean up, and, and it's over, and then something else happens. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a big like down below, and I will see you in the next video. Later, man.